Students, welcome to Sorosur's classes. In this video, I will be solving some of the questions from Geology from Jam 2017. Now, in the previous video, I have done up to question number 22. So, I will start this video with question number 23. Now, here we have some ig igneous bodies and we have to match them with their correct age group. So, we have to match them with their correct age group. Now, the first one is Singbhum Granite. The Singbhum Urissa Creton. The Singbhum Urissa Creton. This is one of the oldest Archean nucleus of eastern india so it is one of the oldest archean nucleus of eastern india and major part of this Singbhum Urissa Creton, that is in a short form called SOC. The major part is occupied by major part is occupied by occupied by Singbhum Granite Batholit. Singbhum Granite Batholit. in the short form called SBG and this SOC it covers about 40,000 square kilometer 40,000 square kilometer in the Eastern India Shield forming a triangular crustal block in Eastern India Shield forming a triangular crustal block so the singbum granite it is associated with archean age so we would have this first p that is singbum granite it is associated with four of group two that is archean age now now next is melanie rheolite now the neoproterozoic melanie magmatic province the neo proterozoic melanie magmatic province magmatic province which is approximately 750 million years ago so this magmatic province it occupies a large area of nearly 50,000 square kilometers so it 50,000 square kilometer of northwestern indian shield of north Western Indian Shield and this magmatic province it is dominantly made of rheotic lava floor rheotic rheolitic rheolitic lava flow and granitic plutons granitic plutons so this melanie rheolite it is associated with neoproterozoic age so we have this Melanie rheolite it is associated with of group 
option number one in group two that is new proterozoic age now the next is Deccan volcanics so the next is Deccan volcanics now the Deccan traps the Deccan traps which are a large igneous province large igneous province that is located in the Deccan Plateau of West Central India Deccan Plateau of West Central India it is one of the largest volcanic features on earth it is one of the largest volcanic feature on earth and these Deccan traps they began forming nearly 66.25 million years ago at the end of Cretaceous period at the end of Cretaceous period and the last one that is Punjal traps now these Punjal traps they are associated with early Punjal Permian period so they are associated with early Permian period that is nearly 290 million years ago and the spongel traps they are the largest contiguous outcropping of volcanic rock so they are the largest contiguous outcroppings of volcanic rock volcanic rocks within the Himalaya within the Himalaya and are associated with late Paleozoic breakup of Gondwana. So they are associated with late Paleozoic breakup of Gondwana. So we have our Deccan volcanics they are associated with Cretaceous period and Punjal traps are associated with Permian period so the correct answer is our option number B now let's move to the next question now here we have in the next question the tube feet of echinoids emerge through now these echinoids they have single they have single tube feet that arises from their ambulacral plates so the correct answer is option number b that is ambulacral plates now these tube feet they are operated operated hydraulically hydraulically with the water vascular system so they are operated these tube feeds are operated hydraulically with the water vascular system and some of these tube feeds they have suckered disc at the end so they have suckered disc at the end that helps them 
to stick on to things and thereby allowing them to move then to climb allowing them to move to climb then to dig or collect food now these tube feeds they are also used to sense chemicals to sense chemicals then to breed and to excrete waste and sometimes to excrete wastes so the correct answer of this question is option number b that is a tube fill in echinoids they emerge through ambulacral plates now the next question is that the minerals with a point group symmetry of 2m which of the following sentence is true this 2m point group it is only monoclinic monoclinic centrosymmetric point group and we know that the all the minerals that crystallize in orthorhombic ortho rhombic or monoclinic or triclinic crystal system triclinic crystal system they are biaxial and this biaxial crystals they have two optic axes they have two optic axes so we would have so we would have the correct answer of this question as option number 1 that is a mineral with a point group symmetry of 2m it has two optic axes